And you're welcome back to On the Level with me, Edel Creedon, on 93.1 Life FM, shining the light over Cork. And our text number is 85 Our office number is 021-496-4444. And I'm joined this morning with Una Chambers. And Una has been advocating for some Afri- Afghanistan refugees to come to this country. And uh, we're going to discuss this situation with her now. So welcome, Una. Hello, Adele. Thank you for coming in. Um, so just let me know, um, why are you involved in this project and how did it come about? Um, well, it's a long story. I suppose when you're my age, everything is a long story. <laughs> but um, yeah, my daughter was, um, her partner was um, from Afghanistan and he had been a refugee with the first wave in mm. 20 years ago okay. of refugees. So yeah, his um, his nephew was in trouble in uh, in. August and contacted my daughter mm-hmm. and it just it's just rolled since mm. then really that's the that's so the he, long and the short of it like. he had to get out of Afghanistan in oh August. yeah he, he had been working um he had been working in the law there and he had been involved with uh, jailing um Taliban people and things oh, okay so his name was on the death mm. list and he had to move wow. that's very serious isn't it yeah yeah. yeah, it's real stuff. Like yes. it's real stuff. There's yes. no yeah. ambiguity about it. Yes, yeah, they're they're, they're being persecuted and hunted, hunted. This little family has been hunted. They've yes. moved three times. Yes, um, like it's a small little. Uh, there's a baby and a mom and a dad, mm. and like they've been hunted for three times, and they can't trust people. Do you yes. know? It's just, it's real. Yes. It's in your face, real and stuff. And we're so stepped back from all of that here in Ireland, we don't know the half of what's going on no. in that particular country. No, we don't. And no, we don't. so so they are a mother, a husband and a little child, is yeah. it? Yeah. I, will I give you a bit of background yeah. on yeah. it? Like yeah. it? Well, the, the mom is Samira mm-hmm. and she's a biology and mathematics teacher mm-hmm. and she was teaching in a, in a women's school, which is... Uh, which is un- not right when you're when the Taliban took over. Okay. And then the husband uh, Hamid, mm-hmm. he he's a young man as well, and he was uh, he was working for the Afghan Women's Network. It's a very famous network. Network. So he was you know uh, fighting on their behalf. Mm-hmm. And when the Taliban uh, when the Taliban to came to power yeah. in Kabul, they raided the offices mm. of the uh, Women's na- Network okay. and they took the names of every single person that was working there wow. and they took their addresses and phone numbers and contact details. So immediately they had to go into, uh, into, so into part, hiding. part of the Afghanistan, the, the Taliban taking over in Afghanistan, women are second-class citizens and you, second don't, class. Help, you don't help them. They're they're not really citizens. They're yes. not human beings. Yes, Do you know. I mean, they're they're less than human. So this couple working with the women's network and working in a women's school had a, a, a death threat on their head straight away. Straight yeah. away. Yeah, and then they have a little baby, Safira. I I actually don't know how to pronounce his name. Mm. Sorry, yeah. it's a boy. I'm yes. saying Safira, but it, yeah. Anyway, I'm really bad at pronunciations. <laughs> yeah, but we understand, yeah, there's a little baby involved as well. And, and obviously... And they've had to move three times and they don't know who to trust. Yes. Because if you're in a house, the, the your neighbours can commit, you know, can yeah. tell the Taliban. <laughs> and also the um, a lot of the people that uh, Hamid was working with have disappeared. Wow. So, and they're either in hiding and the Taliban have got some of them. So we don't know whether they're alive or dead or what's going on, you know. It's just... It's heartbreaking. It's yeah. it's, it's, it's unknown. It's the unknown, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when yeah. you think of, like, people, you know, that are doing their normal everyday job and just overnight, it's just... Yeah. I can't even explain it. It's just so heartbreaking, you know, that... You're doing your normal job, and then this new regime comes in, and all of a sudden, you're wanted. Yeah, you're you're there. Uh, there there's a bounty on your head, as that's it. Exactly, exactly. And they're going yeah. to come and kill you. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah, it's just so oh, unbelievable, isn't it? Really, yeah. in our world today, you know, to think that, you know, we're in a thank God we're in a safe country. Exactly, and we're doing okay. But like, there is countries out there where this is the norm. Where it's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, uh, the, the, uh, you know, I, I just um, in um, in Afghanistan, 
like I know that because of the person that I helped to come over. Yeah. He said that on Sunday there was six hours of in Kabul there was no electricity for six hours and they're heading into starvation this winter. And when people are working, when the men go to work, they're being paid in corn. Okay. So it's like the famine in Ireland, yes. you know? Like, if you remember, like, we used to have, was it the Indian corn? And yes. It was just a kill people. But what I'm saying is, like, they're not even dealing in money now. Yes. You know? It, it's amazing. It's a barter right? system now. Well, yeah. As, I mean. as much as they can, because yeah, there's nothing yeah. there. Exactly. The exactly, whole yeah. system, the whole government, the whole the economy, whole, the whole si- set up is just completely yeah, crushed. Has fallen. Yes. Has fallen. And, yeah. And the fear, the fear is unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. If you're fearing for your life. Exactly. Yeah. And so this family is trying to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where do you know where they are now or what no, is the situation? No, that's a secret. They're and hiding, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, they're in hiding. And Joya and Nikki, the people that are um, are advocating for them. Yes. I mean, I have never met Joya or Nikki. Yeah. Like, I don't know them. Yeah. But, like, because of my own experience, yes. I'm... I'm um, I'm obviously completely involved with this yes, as well. Yes. So I I don't know if they know where they they must know. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, I to know. be honest with yes. you, I don't. But they're advocating then for the for for um for Hamid, Samira and Safira to come out, you know? Yeah. And when they come they're looking for the our government now to provide them with a visa to come here. Is it's that called a waiver visa. Okay. Uh, if you want some background yeah, on that. Yeah. In um, in August when the when the Taliban hit in Kabul, the Irish government gave five hundred and fifty what are called um uh uh, visas. Not yeah. visas, they're they're called waiver visas. Okay. And they they said that um but there's only five hundred have been taken up. There's fifty that haven't been used okay. for whatever reason. Okay. And we're asking for the waiver visa for these three people. Okay. So it's not a difficult... And the whole thing is that the bottom line on this is that it will cost our country nothing. Okay. First of all, they're amazing people. Yes. And they're going to be an asset to the country because yes. they have good English. Yes. Both of them have very... So I've so I've found out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they have very good English. And also they're... Well educated, like yes, you know. Yes. I think that I think it's a pity to be taking the cream of the country out. Actually, yes, yes. But this is this is the reality. The tel- uh, the Taliban are getting rid of the the people that are educated yes. and can change things in the country. Yes, you know, like these yeah. people are are activists. Like, yes, they're not people that are sitting down drinking bread and butter. I yeah. Bread and bro- butter. I know. I know. But uh, sorry, anyway. Yeah, so okay. we're only asking for those uh, waiver visas. The thing is the. If if they ever if they make it to Ireland, they have a place to live. Okay. They have uh, a, everything set up for them. Okay. So that it, they'll just arrive in the country. What we need, what they need, is the waiver visa. So we're calling on the government, basically. Exactly. To actually, exactly, yeah. before they shut down for Christmas, to provide these waiver visas so that this family can be free yeah. from Afghanistan and come to our country where they can actually live a normal, proper life. Exactly. So exactly. that's the bottom line. Without fear. Yes. And mm-hmm. I know there's millions of people in Afghanistan and millions of people are in the same boat. Mm-hmm. But these are the ones we can do something for. Yes. It's not like we can't do for them. We can pray for the millions, yes. Yes. but we can't touch and hold and draw yeah. them out. Yes. But we can with these three yes. people. Yes. And that's the important thing. Yeah. That it's one step at a time, isn't it? Exactly. And exactly. And we're doing our bit yep. with that particular family. Yeah. Like you say, we can't do it for everybody. We would love to <laughs> take everybody out and mind them all, but at least there's this family we can try and help. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. So, Una, tell us how can the public then help in this way? Well, actually, the public. I I sent you uh, links, yeah, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Uh, the public can. There's um. There's a. Uh, uh, a, a petition? F- a petition. Yeah, my brain is bad. Sorry <laughs> You're fine. That. There's a petition that people can sign. It's online. It's an online petition. Yeah. And then they can write to Simon Coveney. Yes. They can write to uh, uh, Mr. O'Gor- O'Gorman. Yeah. Roderick, Roderick O'Gorman. O'Gorman. The, yeah. the, the, the child, the minister for uh, children. Yeah. He's yeah. very, he's he's really, it lands on his desk a okay. lot. Okay. Okay. And then there's the uh, minister for um, for justice. Yeah. 
So Helen can, McEntee, yeah. yeah, Helen McEntee. They can yeah. write to, to the three of those. Okay. Send an email. It doesn't have to be good, you know. Yeah. You can just say, please sign yeah. the waiver visa. Yeah. You don't have to be articulate yes. to write. Yes. You can just write it. But the more they have on their desk, exactly, the more they're the demand is there that they'll actually have it's to live. answer. It's live. Yeah. It's live. And coming up to Christmas, yes. even though we're celebrating, you know, refugees. Yes, you know, yeah, really? Jesus being a refugee himself exactly. in Egypt. Exactly. And I'm not saying that, just that's the reality. Jesus was a refugee. He was, yeah. He understands, he knows he's he does. there. Yeah. And his mom and dad as yeah. well. They had and to get out of Egypt, didn't they, when Herod they to, was trying to kill them? They had to get out of... Um, oh, sorry, the, of Bethlehem. Exactly, to, yeah. Into Egypt. Yeah, yeah. So that he could be safe. And they stayed there two years. Exactly. Exactly. So this is what we're saying. Yeah. We're, yeah. Jesus has done this, like had to do it for himself. Exactly. And he understands. Yeah. And as yeah. Christian believers, we can help these people. We can. To come here. In simple ways, like I say, send a simple email, send a simple letter. It doesn't have to be articulate. Just saying these people need to move. Yes. Need to get out. And if you're involved in these people leaving the country and landing safely in Ireland. If we're involved in that, we've done amazing stuff. Yes, then. we've saved lives. Exactly. That's we've the reality. Actually saved lives of this family yeah. and giving them a new life Yeah, to actually live as they should be allowed to live anywhere. Do, do you know? Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's, a, yeah. And especially at Christmas time, you know, people have their hearts are open to, you know, wanting yeah. to help you know, whoever needs that help. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, so it's 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 heartbreaking to hear the stories, but there is light at the end of the tunnel if if we want this exactly. to work. Exactly. My own experience of, yes. of uh, my my of of the, the guy that came yes. and it was he told me about the way that there was no electricity on Sunday. Yes. So that's yes. up to date. Like, yes. That's not. Yes. And you see that information isn't past. coming out in the normal media, is it? No. No, yeah, everything no. is, is shut down because of the Taliban. Obviously, yeah. you can't yeah. get that information yeah. out. So uh, when you do hear these things, you know, we, you realise then how how hard it is there and how difficult it is for these people. Yeah. yeah. So um, so it's it's a just a horrific, horrific kind of situation to be even contemplating or even considering. But, you know, I know we can pray for people, but practically we should be doing as much as we can. I agree. I think praying is the, our number one and like if you were to ask me what to do I would say pray. Yes. Pray. And pray for the whole country. Yes. Like that's where we can make the difference with prayer. Yeah. Because that country has been I was thinking about it when I was coming up to talk to you today yeah. and now I was thinking like there was first like the the uh, English uh, yes. took it over. Then there was the um the Russians like they were there, yeah. then the Americans came. Like it's just been wave after yes. wave of of violence yes. and awfulness, yeah. like in that country. Yes. And we can pray for that. Yes, we can. And and our God is big, and He yes. change that. He, he will. can change he can. it. He can. And, we can and even pray. to take down the Taliban. Hey, that's yeah. That, 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 <laughs> I was going to say that. I was going to say. We, that. I mean, God is powerful to roll it back. Yeah, to He is well back. able to do that. Exactly. And I, I have heard because we do a lot of. Uh, world Christian news here and I have heard of organisations that have stayed in Afghanistan as Christian believers and organisations and I know their own lives are on the line yeah. in that yeah. sense but they're in there with the people and they believe God is keeping them there you know to be able to meet those people's needs exactly and, exactly. and thank God for missionaries that do that and that have that yeah. you know that grace I suppose <laughs> it wouldn't be my cup of tea <laughs> at but, the Holy Spirit <laughs> exactly <laughs> to stay and to help do yeah. you know yeah um, but having said that, we, we need to pray for them as well who are in there exactly. doing that kind of work. Exactly. Do you know? So that's the that's the spiritual thing yes. we can do. And I'm not saying, I mean, that's number one anyway. Yes, yes. But as well, physically, we can stretch our hands across yeah. and, you know, and and do what we can to take to get these to get these people out to get Hamid, Samira and the baby out you yes know? I yes. mean it's just important yes that we feel, like you said to physically do something yes and again to do what you need to do is to sign the petition online um it's uh, uh it's my uplift.ie petition uh, forward slash secure a safe haven in Ireland for the Nadir family and you sign that petition and then ask your friends to share that petition. And then you can contact um, Roderick O'Gorman at roderick.ogorman at who is the Minister for Children. 
Uh, you can contact Simon Coveney, which is our local uh, TD here, simon.coveney at oroctus.ie. And you can contact Helen McEntee, which is the Justice Minister at helen.mcentee at oir.ie, oroctus.ie. So it's important that we actually get down to it and do something. Yeah. Before the madness of Christmas hits exactly, us. Exactly, and they'll shut down our government and it'll be uh, a bit, uh, not too late for them, but it'll take time, it'll take longer time than that yeah. to get them out and, and they're actually unsafe where they are. Yeah, they could be taken tonight. Yeah, uh, so that's it is, the yeah, that's the reality, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Una, thank you so much for coming in to me and thank you for giving us that uh, good, that big picture, that, that up-to-date picture yeah. of what's going on in Afghanistan. Yeah. And hopefully our listeners will be praying for them yeah. and that they will actually get down and doing some writing and sending some emails to our, our government to actually get these waiver visas for this family yeah. who desperately needed to get out of Afghanistan and to become safe um, exactly. from this it's actual death threat. And a benefit to our country. Exactly, because they have the skills that we can actually yep. uh, take from them and yeah. actually... Uh, they can work here for us for our benefit as well so and just before I go yeah. would you mind would you mind putting it on your website the addresses and I, can, the, I can try my, and do that for you yeah today I'll get somebody that yeah, knows I, how to do exactly. it exactly I'll get onto our technical team cool, cool. <laughs> and ask them to do that yeah, yeah. for you I will so um, thanks again Una and I hope our listeners um, will take up the challenge and actually do what we, we've said needs to be done for this family Okay. So I'll be right back again after. Thanks very much, Adele.